So a while ago, I thought it would be fun to perform Peter Maxwell Davies's four lessons for two keyboards, which were actually originally conceived for two clavichords. And I thought, who better to perform with than my esteemed colleague and friend Terence Charleston. But little did I know that this would develop into a really exciting project, which actually ended up tickling your compositional muse in some way. And you've written some pieces for clavichord. Were they written in response to Peter Maxwell Davies? Um, well, yes, they were, and they, they were very much written in response to your invitation to play those pieces. Um, I thought it would be uh, interesting to see if I could write um, a companion set or suite of pieces. I wasn't quite sure whether it would be three or four. In fact, it ended up being five pieces. Mm -hmm. um, so that, uh, you know, clearly the inspiration kept, kept coming. Mm -hmm. um, the pieces um, are quite different in style to um, Maxwell Davies. Of course, they perhaps encompass a broader and more varied set of styles, mm -hmm. um, but they do um, touch off, as it were, from uh, the Maxwell Davies pieces in that they use some of the techniques both the repetitive melodic techniques, so the way he writes his music, and also some of the what we call special techniques, special techniques of playing the instruments, for example, producing pizzicato sounds or special strumming. Uh, as happens in number one. As happens in number one, which we're going to play in a moment. Um, this is um, quite a short preludial uh, type of piece. It sets an atmosphere. Um, before the more substantial number two, uh, which you won't be hearing. 